Welcome, collectors. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Diecast Emporium. On tonight's video, we're going to be reviewing the Bomag BW206AD Vibratory Tandem Drum Asphalt Compactor, or simply the roller as it's known to most people. This machine is used in road construction to lay down or compact the mat laid by the paving machine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging and then, of course, the model. So this is made by caster scale models of Germany in 1 to 50 scale. As with all of the recent Bomag model releases, they come in this very nice yellow open window style packaging. Bomag Fiat Group up here, www.bomag.com. You have the name of the machine up on top. And on both side flaps, you have pictures of the real roller at work. So there you go. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the package and take a closer look at it. For your first time taking this one out of the box, as with most of the Bow Mag models, you will have to cut a couple of tapes on the side, but really that's all you have to do. There's no assembly required, and once you take the model out, it is complete out of the package. So, one of the great things about any roller model is the fact that they're always pretty highly detailed for it being a rather simplistic piece of machinery. Of course, you know, when it comes to an excavator that can do a hundred different jobs on a site, a roller can pretty much do one thing, roll. And this asphalt roller has very heavy metal drums, which do roll very, very well, even on a very smooth surface. The machine steers by articulating across the center pivot point, and you can achieve a very aggressive angle there without a problem. Now, these caster scale models, I like to relate them to, and I don't own many of them. I own a handful of them in my collection. Um, but they always have very high standards set for them by Bomag, and they remind me of NZG models. The build quality is excellent, the detail is excellent, and the decal application is excellent. And really, this roller is no different there. Even these small decals right here, once you have it in front of you, are completely legible. And there is even a small warning graphic here. Here's your BW206AD right here, Bomag up here. So this is the enclosed cab version of the machine. Again, typically you don't see too many of them around in this part of the world. Most of the time they have the open ROPS version. But inside, it's a relatively detailed interior. A couple windshield wipers. You have a warning light up here. Two rear-facing mirrors. Some painted-in lights and the Bomag graphic here. You also have a scraper up on top of the drums. And... Another nice detail touch that I like are these lines right here. And I could be mistaken, but I believe that these are water lines to help the material from sticking to the drum as it's compacting. Looking at the rear of the machine again, you have some lights here, a plastic exhaust. And the to the driver's right hand, or the operator's right hand side of the machine, pretty much symmetrical to the other side. And again, you have the stairs to access the cab highlighted with some gray paint which again, look very, very good. Underneath, not too much to write home about at all, other than the caster scale models logo and scale 1 to 50 scale. Here you get an even better look at these rollers, or excuse me, these scrapers. So you have scrapers on the bottom parts of the drum and up on top. Again, the main purpose for that is to help the material from building up on the drums. So let's see how this looks on a low boy real quick. Not a very big piece of equipment, so it's going to fit on here without an issue, as you can see there. So really any size, regular size low boy would accommodate a machine of this size without an issue. But one of my favorite things to do with any pieces of road construction uh, machinery and collectibles is just by adding a few, you can set up a very realistic, and allow me to move the camera out just a little bit here, you can set up a really realistic looking diorama. So this paver is the BF800C, uh, again another caster model for Bomag. If you're interested in seeing an up, an up close review of this model, just go ahead and search it out, out on my channel. It should be up there. And then of course, what's the last part of a paving train that you need? Yes, you guessed it. A dump truck. And there you go. You've set up a relatively uh, nice looking display that you can use on your desk at work. 
uh, or in your display cabinet with just three simple machines. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up here. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the appropriate section. And until next time, take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next video.